Rides. What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are still here in this underground location in Detroit with this new vehicle from Buick redesigned for model year 2025. What is it? It's this vehicle right here. This is your all new 2025 Buick Enclave. This particular one is the ST. But before we get into this midsize sporty styled three row crossover SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Buick. It's one of those brands that seems to do really well in certain situations and in other situations, people kind of overlook them. Buick is ready to make a big renaissance move, especially here in the United States with not only very unique, distinctive style, but also with technology that you come to expect in a modern car today. Obviously being a midsize SUV, you have so many choices. And I think really what some people are gravitating towards is they wanna have their cake and eat it too. They want a midsize SUV that's gonna haul the kids and all their junk and all the hockey equipment and everything else around, but they also want a sporty look, style, and personality. Well, guess what? That's the whole reasoning behind the ST is to bring that sportiness to the Enclave lineup. Now, the interesting thing is, is that the ST actually falls right in the middle of their lineup. And it's just three, which I think is so smart. We don't need 42 different trims. You have preferred, which is your entryway into the Enclave family, ST. And then if you haven't seen my Avenir review yet, I'll leave the link at the end of this one. That is gonna be the top spec, that top luxury trim. But what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for a midsize crossover that has the sportiness, but also has all the other things to make life easy, because we all know life is hard enough as it is, especially if you have kids and they got lots of different activities, is this Enclave ST the way to go? Let's go ahead, let's find out what's unique and what sets it apart from the preferred and the, and the Avenir trim. Let's go ahead and dive in. Right off the bat, this color. I'm not really a red guy on SUVs, but boy, oh boy, I hope one of these days soon that they take it from this underground studio and bring it outside because I really feel like this is gonna sparkle like a ruby. Definitely good color choice on this ST. Now, sporty style. A lot of times when it comes to design, lighting can really make a big difference. And one of the things you'll notice is that very similar style of lighting with your daytime running lamp, and then of course, your headlights down in this lower corner, just like you find in all of the other redone Buick vehicles, including that new Invista that we did, I wanna say it was like about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago now, that is the entryway into the Buick family. Now, as we work our way down, when you go ST, you're getting some black accents, really helps differentiate this from the Avenue because all this black trim on the Avenue is shiny chrome style finish. Love the way they did this check mark, gloss black, nothing too crazy. Working your way down, same thing. It's, it's a balance. You have some color match and then the rest is going to be gloss black to match the upper portion. Now, as we come across that new grill, the new face of the Enclave, to me, this really does it. This says that this is something new and fresh. You're gonna have your gloss black crisscross design on the upper grille on the ST trim. You do get a forward facing camera. Even this lower portion here, the way they brought that up, very nice aggressive look without going too crazy. And then on the bottom portion, you do have functional lower venting as well. One way to tell if you wanna cheat if that this is an ST, and I know Steven just set himself in perfect position, is gonna be right here. So all the way on the driver's side of the grill is the ST badge that lets you know that that is that mid sporty trim. Now, when it comes to the nose of the vehicle, like I said in the Avenir video, this Enclave is wider, it's longer, and it's taller. One of the other things that I didn't really point out in the other review, look at the body lines, look at the, the gaps. Remember, this is a pre-production, but yet we're still seeing amazing gaps that shows that attention to detail. So it's not just the detail they put in the design, but also the fit and finish, which I think is gonna be a game changer for Buick. We have the updated Buick badge, simple, clean, modern, and then 
With the hood, I just, I, I think it was smart the way they gave it some character. A lot of brands are just going like flat straight across. This, you have the nice large dip in the center, and then the two other portions, two other portions on the outer edge give it a nice distinct style. And like I said, it's about looking like the other members in the family of the Buick lineup. Now, as we come around the bend, when you go ST, you're getting a specific wheel and tire package. These are the wheels specific to the ST. So you got a 20 inch wheel, machine aluminum, gloss black accents. I like the way that it's got like a little bit of a rotating motion to it, even though it's sitting here still. And then if you're wondering, well, Joe, what is the size of the tire? 255 on the width and a 55 series sidewall, but those are the wheels specific to the ST. The other thing that you'll notice, no flat black on the ST trim. What they did was they took the gloss black from the front, wrapped it around the side, and then brought it around the fender openings. Gives it a nice, modern, classy, but also sporty look. Now coming down the side of the vehicle, you're gonna get gloss black on the mirror caps, LED turn signals, we got 360 degree cameras. Down below, you do have another ST badge on the side, just like we had up front. And then from the side of the vehicle, I'm glad to see, you know, some people were saying, it, it's funny when you go through the interwebs and people say that they know what, what is coming down the pipeline. Many people said that the Enclave was gonna get smaller, but in reality, it actually got a little bit larger. And I think that was a smart move considering what's happening in the mid-size segment where you're getting a lot of these brands creating these long versions of the same vehicle. Well, with this, they don't have to worry about that. It's just already longer, wider, and taller for very good reasons. Up top, we have those roof rails, gloss black to match all the other trim. And that's the thing, same story around the window openings. All the same trim to give it that nice, modern, sporty look. They even went solid. I'm glad that they did this. They went solid body color on the door handles, on the Avenue, it's, it's a little bit different. It's got chrome on it. So that's another nice little touch on the ST. Working our way towards the rear, what's get great about this crossover is that you could get it front wheel drive or all wheel drive. And then coming towards the rear, very, very nice design on this rear quarter panel and how the rear pillar flows into the back of the vehicle. And then really, I think just like up front, how I love the lighting, same story on the rear of the vehicle as well. You'll notice full LED lighting, and I like the way they went super thin. It's not really big and bulbous and looks dated. This is gonna look very modern, I feel, for quite some time. Obviously that Buick badge, a lot of history going back to 1903, if you could believe that. This particular ST Enclave has the all-wheel drive. And then Working our way all the way down, you're gonna get that same thing, unique lower bumper area to where you'll be able to take the center portion off for towing. And then you also have the exhaust openings on both sides, stainless steel tips. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior. I wanna show you some special things with the ST, but I also wanna talk about the engine and horsepower. So let's get inside. All right, guys, we're inside this 2025 Buick Enclave ST. Now, I did tell you that I was going to talk about horsepower. New engine underneath the hood. It's a 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four paired with an eight speed automatic. It puts out 328 horsepower, 326 pound feet of torque, quite a bit more over the previous engine. And if you look at the competition, like the uh, Lexus TX, it has quite a bit more horsepower when you're looking at base engine to base engine. Pricing not available yet but stay tuned for that. But let me take you on a tour of the rest of the ST and see how it stands out from the rest to the door panels. I like, just like on the exterior, the black accents, the black comes to the interior. All soft touch material, the extra stitching, the nice real style finish to the aluminum there. Even the way they did that dark gray finish in the center, they could have easily did something corny like faux carbon fiber or something like that. I like the way they took some changes. They took some risks in making some different material uses in here and choices. Even on the armrest, the stitching, nice and soft. This has silver finish rather than the bronze copper from the Avenir. Door pocket is big enough for a couple Detroit hot dogs and a soda to wash it down. And we have the Bose sound system, which you're still going to get 12 speakers with the bows coming from the door panel to the dash. Same story. 
that great finish, soft touch material, the stitching, both at the top and on the bottom. And then we have that all new 30 inches of screen, uninterrupted screen. Not only is it on the Enclave, but it's also in the new Envision as well. Can't show you all the features and functions yet, but stay tuned. We will be bringing you that. I promise you that. You got the toggle switches. I like the way they did the AC vents. You actually have a USB-C and a USB-A up top. That bridge style, floating style of, an, of a center console, wireless charging, real volume knob, a place for your Tic Tacs, two cup holders, and then down below, you got a 12 volt, and you have enough room where if you were at that last Detroit Lions game last, last year, that end off of the season, you could put that signed football perfectly in that lower area and cherish it all the time. Now, of course, you have the soft material on the armrest with the stitching. Lift it up. You do have plenty of room in here. You could easily go to uh, Dunkin' Donuts and get six, seven donuts in there, no problem. And you're not going to get any glaze anywhere. Seats, the ST embroidery. Love the way they did the perforated design, the piping, full electric assist for the passenger, full electric assist, of course, for the driver. And then the seats are going to be heated, ventilated, the whole shabam. Up top, you have a panoramic sunroof. And then you have that all new space to be living in in your Enclave. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the new wheel in this Enclave ST. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You are going to get two memory seat settings for the driver's seat. Seat controls are within fingertip reach. And then, of course, like I said, you have all that extra room. I really like the way the seats are very supportive, but they're also comfortable, but they don't feel like you're sitting on a beanbag chair. I like that with this vehicle. Supportive and comfortable without feeling like a beanbag chair. Steering wheel, all new for 2025. Really went sporty with this wheel. Same wheel that you find in the other trims, but with one big difference. This has the black leather, flat bottom steering wheel, and you have the availability. This is the first Buick ever to have GM Super Cruise, that autonomous driving, flat black on the switch gear with your heated steering wheel, a little bit of silver on your mode selector buttons. You do have paddles to go up and down that eight speed automatic transmission. And this is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then, like I said, the 30 inches of uninterrupted screen, which I can't wait to show you more of that. But let's get into the mid row and the third row and see what's different with this, at, with this Enclave. All right, guys, mid row and third row. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to actually move this mid row seat. But before we do that, let me show you some of the special touches. ST embroidery in the back here of the headrest. You do have all the stitching, the piping, which is wonderful. These seats do slide and they do recline. And then you are gonna get that nice dark leather material on the backside, large pockets for a couple personal pan pizzas. Get them in there. Hopefully you've been reading your books for your uh, read it set up for with uh, Pizza Hut. And then of course you have your two cup holders, your rear AC controls, two USB-Cs, a home power source, and a place for one of those pickles in a bag that you get at your local 7-Eleven or your local gas station. And then here's how you move the seat. Well, first of all, we got the panoramic sunroof. That's phenomenal. You got your AC vents up top. There's a button. Let me see if I could feel it just by touch. Ooh, I found it. Look at that, nice power release. That's gonna bring you into the third row. And if you wanna see me sitting in the third row, watch the Avenue review because I actually got into the third row. You're gonna be surprised, but it's nice to see plenty of room. Let's go ahead though. Let's get into the cargo area and see how much room there is in this Enclave. All right guys, time to get in the cargo area. Now, like I showed you on the Enclave Avenue video, if you haven't seen that one, I'll leave it at the end of this one. You could just have the easy all new walk-up feature, key fob in your pocket, don't even have to do a thing. It will open up for you. But of course, I wanna show you the good old fashioned way, the way we used to do it back, like when I was in school and we had to walk in the snow uphill both ways to get to school. So at the back of the Enclave, you're just gonna find the button, hit it, and there it goes. Nice electric assist, very smooth on the opening. I love the space that you're greeted to quite a bit of room. I can't wait to get the official numbers from Buick because I think a lot of people, including myself, are going to be shocked at how much room there is with the third row up. On the, pa on the passenger side, you'll notice a plethora of buttons. 
So you have now those power folding rear seats, which obviously there's not power coming to this vehicle, but these will fold down that 60-40 split. And if you want to see them in motion, watch the Avenir video because that is where we were able to fold down the seats. Even underneath, storage. Look at all the storage underneath. Think about you go to the beach, you go to a campsite, and the kids have their dirty shoes and their dirty towels and all the sand and crap. You could put it in there, and you don't have to worry about messing up this beautiful carpeted area. That definitely is worth the price in gold just for that one feature. I know my mom would have appreciated that when we were kids, but it's not time yet. I know you want to see us take this for a drive. I definitely just want to take it outside to see this red underneath the sunshine. But of course, we can't do that yet, but that will be coming soon, so stay tuned. But we need to wrap it up here from Detroit. All right, guys, like I was saying, it's been a great day out here in Detroit, even though I haven't seen sunshine in at least the past six hours. But you know what? It was worth it to bring you this all new 2025 Buick Enclave, this particular one, the ST trim. Want to thank the whole Buick team for having us out. Let me know what you think. Do you feel that now you could actually use the word sportiness with Buick and with the Enclave, in particular with this ST trim? There's a lot of pretenders out there, but has Buick solved that Rubik's Cube of balancing versatility, functionality, and sportiness. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. I know that they're going to go through and read those comments because they want to find out what your thoughts are on this vehicle. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raised Rise family. Of course, we need to thank Stephen Flood, working that camera like the champion that he is. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.